Hello. Hello. Are we Hello. on? Hello. We're on. We're on. We're on. What time is it? 10.30. 10.30. Let me just find them on here as well so we can see your comments. Hi, guys. Hiya. Hiya. It's very tired her. Very tired me. Hi, boss lady. That's a good name. Boss lady, isn't it? Hello, Steph Coleman. Steph Coleman, did you Hello. get your card, Steph Coleman? Hope you did. Here they come. Here they Don't come. Don't they come in fast? They come in, the vampires. <laughs> wow, look at look, this. I'm going to have to use, use my glasses. I can't see a bloody thing. Nanny die, nanny die, hi, nanny this die. This is so many. Unfortunately, we could start, oh, we could start with part one. one. It just got oh, worse and worse, confusing, we bored and disappointing, silly. Green Anthony more. Gray, you've summed it up in a great big humongous nutshell yeah you're absolutely um, right i thought the, the the first hour and a half they should have kept it they'd nailed it yeah hadn't they yeah they'd nailed it in terms of tone in terms of clearly they spent their special effects budget yes didn't they yeah it's all gone yeah apart from on the, the girl at the end her prosthetics for her being burnt up and yeah. in pieces um uh, Dennis Denise Cullum Vot. I don't know if that's correct. You've made it to a live stream. Hello from Moose Moose Jaw, Canada. Can't get this over there. Moose Jaw. Is that really the name of your place? Moose yeah, Jaw. I, I think I've heard of Moose Jaw. Uh, Dawny Harvey. It wasn't just me that was that was baffled. So I just think they played. They let's just let's just run with it. They they yeah. ran loose loose. They got loose and what's the word? They fast ran, and loose. They ran fast and loose that's with just that. time scales with generations with. Also, the limitations and the rules of what a vampire does when they yeah, bite you. Yeah, yeah. I thought they'd just bite you and you become a vampire. Not all these kind of subcategories of undead, and then if you're cremated, you're kind of dead, and then if you look in a mirror, you can see, and if you're, you're his bride, you're this, and if you're kept in a box, you Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They were trying to be too clever, and in the process, became very unclever. Do you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, all you kept muttering in a sort of almost entering a coma fashion in the corner was Mark Gatiss, Mark Gatiss. I love Mark Gatiss. I yeah. mean, I, I, you know, I think he's so talented and I love the fact that he's so into horror and... Um, he's a creative force. Incredibly creative force. And I've always watched his, their programmes, Inside Number Nine and everything, although yeah. the last series did run out of ideas Yeah. And I've, at the end. And I felt that that so significantly ran out of ideas. Didn't it? I mean, I mean we were sort of disappointed by the second episode but yes. tonight i felt like i loved the second episode yeah this made to yeah by default this made the second episode rich yeah it in, did and layered it did i mean there's not said it, at one point we did not care shots about anybody well one thing this pro in the first episode we had the guy who was the actor from oppenheimer who played what was the mm. name of that character jeff the the harker guy or harker. The, yeah jeff harker. Harker. you cared about him and i think one of the things that they should have tried to do was perhaps rather than keeping old klaus bang the the vampire sort of um you know comedically malevolent and always mm. riffing and always with a smart ass comment they should mm. have flipped it around a bit and made us feel for him or maybe mm. root for him because mm. i didn't care about him I didn't care about Van Helsing because she got killed. And, and the guy in the first episode, we never saw him again. No. And they should have kept... If they were going to go for three episodes... I mean, I just wonder if they went, if they did the first one and then they'd got some space in their schedules and said, oh, I'd like us two more. Yeah. And we'll, Because there was none of the... It, whether one liked it or not, the first one, there was a sort of feel to it. It there had was. a rhythm. It had well, and what a... I liked about it was it felt loyal to the original text because yeah. we were in Transylvania and all of that, but it felt yeah. like they were enriching it by doing yeah. weird shit with it. And even the stuff, like, you know, I suppose the, the bit that was sort of... Um, uh, that wasn't usual was the fact that the, the nurse was a sort of... Uh, nurse, the nun, yeah. was a stroppy nun and she was smart-assed and she yeah, didn't yeah, seem yeah. to, you know, be scared of anything. And that was quite effective, I thought if they'd have kept it to that. Yes. But instead, you know, suddenly we're 600 million years further on and their cousins are standing there. Yeah, them. and then I felt all of that was a bit stupid. So I mean, by bloodline, on. they're all related. Yeah. They kind of all know each other, but they never really admit they all know each no. other. He's kind of drunk their blood. He can't drink the blood of de people who are dying, mm. but he's dead. He's the really scared of death. I felt the sort of final climactic... Because I was dying to find out what Dracula... I mean, after all this... Yeah. After spending an hour and a half... Yeah. When we're playing, playing a perfectly good game of Muppet... Exactly. ...to watch this, um, I was dying to know what uh, Dracula was actually scared of and to well, find so, out so that it was, was death. 
Well, <laughs> I thought we ordered it. I thought we ordered it. I just noticed from Maggie that you haven't got cards yet. The last batch of cards, sadly, are going out when we get back. And I realise it's the end of Christmas, but it's a card for life. So um, <laughs> we just didn't have time to get everyone in the same room to sign them. Sorry. So we got the last batch out. So there will be the last batch. I signed of, mine. Yeah, you signed some. Of you. We need to sign some more before you oh, go okay. on Sunday. So we're okay. back. We're back in London on Sunday. And the last batch will be going out next week. So that's not us reneging on our promise. That's us simply struggling for time. Um, but rest assured, they will be coming. What I was going to say, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. um, I got quite angry tonight. She got arrested in that programme on ITV. Eh? You got arrested in what programme on ITV? Is this on ITV? This is on BBC, no, isn't it? BBC. Um, I totally agree. The idea that Dracula <coughs> is afraid of death. Excuse I me. think I think we can all kind of gather that, can't yeah. we? Yes. So that he's keeping keeping death at bay. What was the other thing that I thought was a bit weird? What was all the nakedy, swirly kind of lying around at the end bits? Yeah. Yeah. Well that her blood was the only blood that made him actually vomit. Yeah. So if he and she was dying. Yes. And so if he feasted on her blood. Yeah. In an unseemly mass of blood and gore, then right. maybe he confronted. So have they left it open for another series? A I horrible feeling. Beg of so them not to. They have. Yes. Yeah, Mark Gatiss is on BBC Two now talking about it. I, I am only hoping it will be more interesting. Um, I think, I'll watch it when I get home. Yeah, I think I'm, one of the I'm other problems. Yeah, I think one of the other problems with the whole thing was I didn't care about this kind of youthful, young clubbing scene. I didn't no. care about the characters. No. It felt forced. It felt Holby City. Mm. It felt Holby City meets the TARDIS. I felt there was time travel. I thought felt the special effects had run out. Mm. I think it was all a bit obvious, and I thought it was a bit predictable. Mm. Um, so yeah, I was really disappointed if I'm honest. And I had a couple of sort of jokes in there, like you said, where sort of the idea of phoning up for a meal and then, or what was it on tin, like whatever that one bit yeah, was. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then that was, it, it was all over the place. There were one or two little ideas yes. that they sort of rammed down our throats yeah. and then sort of. Yeah, and then rammed down the vampire's throat. Yeah. Klaus Bang almost looked like he'd given up by the end. Yeah. He felt like he was trotting from scene to scene. I don't I, I, it was, they should have held him back. They should have held him back. Or they should have... They should have done something. Do you know what he reminded me of at times? What? It was like watching Nick Knowles. Nick Knowles? The TV Daytona um, TV presenter. As, as a vampire. It was really? like it's like yeah, it was like he'd walked out of DIY SOS and suddenly he Don't could he could ridiculous. undecided <laughs> far too dark. Sarah Footwells, believe me, it might appear dark, but it's not sophisticated. Um, the trailer promised high standard cinematography. VS, well, yeah, it started off with all those things, mm -hmm. and it's not to say mm -hmm. obviously it's nicely shot. You're not going to not shoot it nicely. Nick Knowles but, um, is a vampire. Yeah, yeah, but I, 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 it felt like I was watching Nick Knowles in a sort of gruesome episode of DIY oh. SOS. Um, Hello, Fabio from Italy. Hello, Fab. I think he's your biggest fan. He um, says he is. He was like Nick Knowles <laughs> in a department store. I tell you the one thing I liked in this. The one thing I liked in this episode okay. was the was the idea that Tinder and dating apps were t were his version of Just Eat. And, well, and, and ordering food yeah, takeaways. Yeah, I mean, I don't even but that, that felt like they'd had the idea to connect the app and technology. They thought it'd be really cool to play mm. a riff on all these ideas with mm. a vampire in mm. modern life. Mm. And then they started to backfill the story. Yeah, but even that I felt was that was worthy of an ep half an hour episode of Inside Number Nine. Yeah. They've probably yeah. thought of before and yeah. thought, well, put it on the back burner and we'll use it at some point. I agree. And they used it. I think so. And I think also Nick Knowles would have handled the comedy better. <laughs> I think we need. I don't know where Knowles the Nick Knowles thing is coming. No, 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 absolutely. And uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? If there is going to be another situation, I don't know. I worry. Oh, where's. I'm just saying, sorry, Kelly Sharp. So I watched the first episode. Is it worth watching the rest? No. No, stick with the first episode. The, the no. first episode is genuinely. I thought it was good. Yeah, I thought it was really I thought it was promising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought it stuck close to the. Uh, uh, it's a standard Moffat script. They're good, and then it ends badly. Was that yeah, right? I don't know. I'm not, I mean, right? I don't follow his his scripts no, I, per I se. Don't, I don't know. I mean, I know I'm not a fan of Doctor Who. Uh, I was as a kid, but I just I just find it all a bit eggy, and I I just think the BBC is in danger sometimes. Of I think it happened a little bit with the second series of Killing Eve. There's a self consciousness about the BBC, mm. and I think they need to trust a few creatives outside of that sort of BBC inner sanctum. Yeah. They need to get me in for story editing because I tell you the story arcs on these are diabolical. You sort of wonder how they get to the point where they're committing to the shooting script, and they don't. People are asking questions. Yeah. So you know, oh, let's just have a montage here of a kind of living dead face going. Whoa. I mean, what about the boy that came out of the the 
the ground. See, that was so poor. We had Chucky at one point pulling I a mean, bed covers ev off. Every sort of, um, even vaguely horror film that you see at the cinema, yeah. that even we take Kiki to, we yes. have got things better than that. Yeah, yeah. And I this mean, is this isn't about not having fun. You know, I think there's always a danger when you criticise something that's a mainstream drama that you, that you run the risk of sounding a bit po-faced and like, well, you know, how do you want it to be? Do you want it to be more? This isn't about it being more serious. It could have been more funny. Yeah. It needed to be more coherent. And I think if you commit to doing something like this where you're going to reversion a classic like Dracula, mm. you've got. I thought what was good about the first episode, it felt like the first episode, the makers of it had been bold, grabbed their balls, and were taking it in a certain direction. It wasn't mm. entirely successful, but I felt, you know, him coming out, the dog and the nuns, her, mm. her comedy, I thought there were some bold, yeah, they witty, were. They were. It brave was well decisions. It was, well it was well written, and there were brave decisions with the story arc mm. and the atmosphere. And then they all vaporised in that way that I hate to say it, in these big institutions like the BBC, they probably took a watch on the first cut and thought, we need to make this safe. It was far more, think about it, it was far more gruesome the first episode. Mm. And I, part of me wondered whether they had a few complaints. Do and maybe think? they had another cut that was a less gruesome version for the second half. I don't know. How could I, they? It's Dracula, for God's sake. It's going to be... Well, I know, I know. Anyway, are we going to be watching Love Island? Are you, is the Pope a bear? And does he <laughs> shit in the woods? Oh... That's a yes, absolutely. That's well, that's my thinking on it. Yeah. Eps two and three were, were rubbish, says John Wick. Yeah, Are you absolutely. the John Wick? Totally agree. BBC are struggling with their dramas. At Aren't the they, Did though? you see the Aren't Christmas they? Carol remake? I didn't. Did you see the Christmas Carol remake? I saw the first one. How was that? Well, I couldn't get my head around it a bit because it was they were so sort of not doing the Christmas Carol, I knew. Yeah. But of course it had Stephen, um, what's his name? Stephen Graham, who Stephen we Graham, who we all adore. Really good point by Rhys Roberts here. Also, the risk of expanding the storyline of Dracula into modern times, if that's done, it's needed at least six episodes. You're right. If you're you gonna, are, if you, I, we don't want six episodes. We don't episodes. want six episodes, not like this you don't. But you're right, I think they had to, they, they were contract, they were compacting story development. So we were having situations where we didn't really get his connection with the girl. It was a no. phone call. It was an accidental pickup. I mean, of a I phone mean, the call. idea of the first, the first bit where he ends up in this house with a bloke that he's put in the fridge, a woman that <laughs> yes. is is bulldozing the house outside. I mean, you know, come on, and so he's saying this is a palace, and I've been living for the last thousand years, and yes. I can see this is a palace. I've never lived anywhere as good. I mean, come on, that is bad writing. It was bad writing. I mean, do you think perhaps I mean, they I tried to deliver the lines? If I was maybe it. this is what happened. Because it's very unusual to have three one and a half hours. Maybe they mm. went for six one hours. No, no, they would have enough then, wouldn't they? How much of that? No, and yeah. they got and they tried to reduce, and it didn't stretch to that. Oh, and maybe. they ended up with four and a half. I don't know. Something went wrong with this somewhere. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, I thought I hated, as I've said before, I thought I hated the second episode. Yeah. But having seen tonight's, so I, I, I mean, at least in the second episode, they'd got. A coherent sort of thing going on. Yeah. I thought the middle bit where suddenly she becomes in one of, in room number room nine, nine was yeah. clever. Yeah. And I like the fact that they'd all got relationships with each other. Yes. So you did actually yeah. care you, you a bit cared a little bit, didn't about you? some yeah. of the scenes. This last episode didn't care about any of them. No, at couldn't all. have cared less. But uh, well there you go guys. Tell us your thoughts down below. We're gonna be reviewing all sorts of series. There's last Tango and Halifax coming up. There's all sorts of new dramas coming this year. We are also gonna watch the first Witcher. I know there are a lot of Witcher fans out there who hated our trailer reaction. And we're going to give it, a fair, do, well, we will, we give it will. a fair crack of we the whip. Will. But apparently it's, it's rapidly gone up to one of the most popular Netflix series ever, just behind Stranger Things. Yeah. It's just that, I, I mean, I get nervous about that because I'm not a Game of Thrones fan. You're not a Game of Thrones fan. No, I know. that's only because probably I haven't watched it. No, that's true. That's true. Maybe we should get Maddie to watch it too and the three of us mm -hmm. should do it. Yeah. But anyway, guys, we are so tired and that was really quite disappointing. It was. Wasn't it? Yeah. Lots of love. Love you. Thank Bye. you for all your comments. Love you all. Yeah, thanks for your comments, guys. Bye. Bye. And as I say... Um, Advent cards, final batch, all heading out on Monday because we're back late Sunday night. Oh, bye guys. Bye.